Hey there, thanks for clicking on this video. I wanted to talk about whether or not a DPF back exhaust is worth it. At the end of the day, there's two ways to think about DPF back exhausts. Number one, are you gonna get improved performance out of it? And number two, is it worth buying just for looks? Now, for me, I banged up my stock exhaust, so it was all bent and it had a crack in it. And so I kind of needed to get the DPF back and bolt it on. I did the install myself. It was a pain in the ass because I also had to unscrew the NOx sensor that's right before the tailpipe exits. And so for me, it was definitely more cosmetic. You know, I had heard people talk about, oh, you get like one mile per gallon better fuel economy. You can hear more turbo. It sounds a little more rumbly. But to me, unless you're doing a delete, you really don't get much performance benefits with a DPF back. So for a lower level trim truck like my XLT that doesn't have a stock exhaust that's much to look at, if you have the extra 300 or 400 bucks sitting around and you wanna spend it, sure, spend it, it looks good, it makes the truck look better. You know, maybe you get a little bit more noise, but nothing really worth noting. There's not really any change in the exhaust note. I feel like the truck does flow a bit better because when you take off that stock pipe, you realize all the junk and the extra resonators and mufflers, which God knows why Ford put all that on there. It really isn't worth it to me. Like why would they put that on there? But they did. And so you kind of get rid of all that extra stuff and you just have a pipe instead of having all the stuff. I know it's not worth the $400 to buy a DPF back exhaust thinking that you're gonna get crazy power and crazy fuel economy. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, especially after owning one. Now, I won't deny that it does feel like the truck does have a little bit more throttle response and it seems like I got better fuel economy, but I have exactly zero data to back any of that up. It's all just my own opinion from driving the truck without the exhaust, replacing it with something that's, you know, it's a four inch DPF back that MBRP makes and then driving in and having it feel a little bit more peppy. But I have heard from other folks that they have gotten like one mile per gallon better with the DPF back and with the cold air intake. So maybe if you were doing them together and you have a thousand bucks to spend on both, you could do them together. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments whether or not you think you get any sort of performance benefits from a DPF back. So that's gonna do it for me. They are kind of the two things to think about when you're looking at a DPF back, one, how is it going to make your truck look? And two, are there going to be any performance benefits? I would say the performance benefits are negligible, but if it's worth it to you to have your truck look better, get yourself a DPF back. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.